Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for more One Piece the Anime. Today we are checking out episodes 48 and 49. We are officially entering a brand new arc. We're heading to Logue Town. We are about to make landfall, or at least that's where we left off at the end of last episode with Luffy and crew off on the horizon. So let's go ahead and hop in. If you want to see the following three action, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you got a member of the channel, gives you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for actually the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on movies to react to each month. We got month Q and A's, behind scenes footage. You're trying to make it worth your while, so you're going to be support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction. To least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. That all said, LOA, let's go ahead and hop into episode 48. Here we go. Oh, oh, we got a new intro. Oh, yo. Oh, or is this? Mm. Oh, it's just like replaying all kinds of stuff we've uh we've been through. Believe in Wonderland. I'm gonna lie, I mi I miss the I miss the old one. I miss the old one. <laughs> Here we are. We've made it. <laughs> I'm going to steal. <laughs> I want to see where he lost his head or got poked to death, whichever. Luffy in full tourist mode. <laughs> Everybody just staring at him like he was like, what's this kid doing? <laughs> A little much. It looks like she had Shushu around her fucking neck. <laughs> oh, um. <gasps> One, his head is a, his hair is a hanger. Two, that was rude as fuck. Well, look who it is. I just found the main dish. This sounds like a load of bullshit to me. Dude, it's got a coil coming out of it. Or a pube. Either one. Yeah, dude, you are getting scammed. <laughs> Captain Smoker. Oh, is this is this the guy that they teased at the end of the live action where I was like, this meant nothing to me. I don't know who the fuck this is. <laughs> Dude, quite literally, there's there can't be oxygen in his lungs. Dude is shredded though. Oh, he's got cigars like somebody would have bullets. It's an interesting hook sword, or sword in general. You can only see one aspect of it. Justice! Man, they are really scared of Luffy, man. It's so funny. Uh oh. 
<laughs> oh no. I hope he's not like uh, fucking Morgan, because Morgan would have this girl killed. <laughs> Oh. Oh. For a second when he full palmed her head, I thought he was just going to like, you. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, he doesn't seem too bad. But I don't know, man. We have not met a decent antagonist just yet. I don't know. Who? Maybe he verges on anti hero or anti-villain territory more than anything. Could be getting ahead of myself. He is double smoking. I just noticed this. Oh. Oh. We got imposters already. Uh, um, what? <laughs> I mean, is that rumor or is that true? We eat the smoke, smoke fruit. We smoke a fruit. <laughs> Yeah, you guys have a picture, dude. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, he's going to drop... Too many clues here. Mm. Follow the smoke. Wait, what the hell? Does he have sentient smoke? Hmm. Luffy, see, he's so unassuming, even though they have a fucking picture. Oh my god, charging him interest to take a loan out? That is something I would expect from her. Oh, who's this? Is that that, uh, that girl they were talking about? Yo! God damn! Yeah, this isn't... You just broke her glasses. <laughs> this isn't... Wait, this... This... I mean, surely if it was Kuina, like, she'd recognize him, because he, he looks the same, just taller. She's just got to bear a striking resemblance, man. But she is also clumsy, and that would fall in line with everything I've heard <laughs> about what transpired before. The Gold Roger. Is this a trap? This is bait, isn't it? Hello? Why as of today? What if this was built around it? 
骸骨かでけえこいつはなキラージャイアントって呼ばれてたやつの慣れの果てだ100人の海賊をあの世に送ってきた悪党さうんだがゴールドロジャーがたった一撃で葬り去っちまったゴールドロジャーがまさに電光石火こいつはこれがにでけこれがその時の傷だ死ぬ間際にこうつぶやいたロジャーてめえには脱帽だ永遠の海賊に誉れをうんすげえかっこいいのように恐れられたモサよだがゴールドロジャーの前では赤ん坊同然じゃった Weak as infants もっと聞きたいか、well, you gotta pay for more Please insert a quarter over here ゴールドロジャーあの時代いや今でもかグランドラインを恐れなかったたった一人の男だ。Hey, Luffy over here doesn't, doesn't fear it at all. That might be because he's just kind of dumb as shit, but it is what it is. <laughs> oh wow, is this the old dude that is, isn't it? これからちょっとグランドラインに散歩しに行こうってワクワクして仕方がねえのさ。おい、行くのかあの間の海。<laughs> He really is. I mean, like, we got our little line from Zeph in the live action about them being very similar. And he kind of is, just these, these little ways. Because it's not like I've seen a lot of Rogers so far, but that was a very Luffy thing right there. So crazy. That's such a crazy coincidence that he would close today. Yo, let's go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Maybe smokers who just ran out all of his business, you know, no pirates can make it in and no one comes in here anymore. But at the same time, Smoker sent him this direction, which I found interesting. No. I love that scene, man. Yeah, look who it is. ケテメか。随分な挨拶だな。常連に向かってよ。店を潰そうとする奴が What's so significant about today? Is it the day he was executed? This literally is a religious experience for him, man. It was today. And fate is smiling on Luffy and this bartender today, man. That's a cosmic ass coincidence. Well, did he used to want to be a pirate? すべてを手に入れた男死に向かって歩いてるっていうのに奴は誇り高い王者そのものだった
最後に言うことはあるかこいつを外してくれ帰ってしょうがねえんだ<笑>それはできんこの俺が逃げるかよ<笑>さあとっとと済ましちまおうぜおい海賊王欲しけりゃくれてやる。探せ。この世のすべてをそこに置いてきた。This is very morbid when you think about it, man. Like his sentiment is lovely. And the way he went out is also something you would kind of want in the end. But everybody just like cheering and shit like that right there as he's bleeding out because they're just like, where's his shit? <laughs> Why did they not already have a printout? Literally everybody and their mom got a printout like a couple of episodes ago. Why were they the last ones? <laughs> Hell, they got one at Open Sea. We still have the same outro, though. What a wild episode, man. I really enjoyed that. Like, especially because you're seeing the parallels between Luffy and and uh, Gold Roger. As Luffy's coming in here on his pilgrimage, wanting to... He's like, oh, did, am I walking the same street that he did? Going to this Gold Roger bar, hearing all these stories about him and all this kind of stuff. And also just... Like the people that actually know Gold Roger, once again, seeing echoes of of that spirit in Luffy. I loved that. And especially when it faded between the two, when he was talking about entering the Grand Line himself. You know, it was just cool. Just hearing all that shit, getting to see the execution again. Though this time around, we only really saw Smoker and then this bartender. Whereas before, and I don't even remember who was this. I know in the live action, you know, because I honestly can't remember if it came up in this or not. Like where we saw the other people kind of hanging out there. But no, Shanks, Mihawk, and a couple other people that were clearly anime characters that weren't just background guys. At least I didn't see any of them in this version of the telling but you know looking back at that too though smoker was there and he was excited to see gold roger and it seemed like you know he got that smile right back so the reciprocation that passing on the torch and stuff like that but you know interesting enough though smoker went to the execution you know he was excited to see gold roger i don't know if he was excited to see him executed but i it seemed like he was excited just to be in his presence he seems to have a fixation obviously legally they they would target pirates no matter what but he seems to have like a pride that he takes in snuffing out pirates and he's calling them cowards for not even trying it just kind of makes me wonder like what the story is there did he want to be a pirate at some point what made him a Marine? How does his lungs still function? You know, there's just so many questions that I have about this guy right now. Because he doesn't seem wholly evil. I mean, like, the, especially considering the people we've run into as the former Marines and stuff up until this point. Like, that whole interaction with him and that little girl who bumped into him and spilled her ice cream. He was like, he apologized for being in the way. And then paid for it. Told her to go get shit ton more. I don't know. And then he's a patron here at this bar. It almost feels like he's setting himself as a bar. This is the impression I've got right now because of the little clues that we have. It seems like he's calling anybody out who's coming to this port and he's setting himself as this kind of like litmus test for whether or not you even should be here or deserve to go to the Grand Line. He's like, if you can't get past me, you have no chance out there. And he's making it a point. Every pirate that comes to port, he's locking them up. Because if they can't get past him, maybe they're not capable of making it into the Grand Line at all. You're not even Gold Roger worthy to get in here. And that maybe it's something like that, where he's kind of this gatekeeper of pirates. <laughs> I don't know. That's just, there's just a weird way we've centered him around us and framed him in this story so far. It just makes me feel like there's more to it than what we're seeing. And then we have this mystery lady walking around with the katana that looked strangely, and not just to me, but to Zoro himself, a lot like Koina. The way she whipped out that sword when everybody was jumping her there and just taking him out in one fell swoop and then just tripping. Is it? I, I don't know. I don't know. Could she have survived? 
Could she have gotten amnesia from the fall? I mean, her father would fucking know if that was the case. I don't know, what, twin sister? Fake death, woke up in her coffin later like the bride? I don't know. I have no idea. Or just cosmic coincidence, like many other things, like Luffy arriving here on the anniversary of the execution itself. I don't know. But either way, let's move on to episode 49 and see what happens next. Here we go. <laughs> Did they rebuild it with steel or was it always metal? I thought it was wood in the flashback, but maybe I'm misremembering already. He's <laughs> like, no. See, that got a little twitch in his eye. And you have to beat me first. Let's go! Oh shit, are we doing this right? Oh, okay, never mind. Let's go. Oh, he literally just said, I don't even have to use my devil fruit power. So he does have one. Yeah, see, he does look up to him. Whoa! Are his, are his legs just rebelling against him right now? Oh my god, we are gonna drag this out, aren't we? We need a reason to not have this fight happen to its conclusion now. <laughs> so, Luffy slingshots himself into the sky. Oh, he's trying to find her, but he just found somebody that looks like her. They're here too? Yes, they are. Well, I guess if Alvita is here, it makes sense that they're also already here. <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry for interrupting your date. God damn it, Luffy. I guess when he just hits a roadblock, he's like, fuck it, nap time. I'll figure it out tomorrow or when I wake up. <笑>私の目が残したでしょ。あなたにお金があるようには見えません。確かに金はねえが。その眉間の詩は何日も食べていないように飢えた目つき。病気のお母さんがいるんじゃありません。死の身が起かしらに5人の子供がいるのでは。
なんじゃガチがあかねえ。Zoro, you fucking goof. Damn, man. It's like her. Well, I can't be reincarnation either because she's too old. Where'd he get that money? Did, it did he take it off of them? <laughs> Here, these guys will pay for it. Or is he like, I cleaned one hallway, let me decide my own salary today? He's gonna try to acquire it, isn't he? Yeah. ぼちぼちの刀じゃねえか。え、こうしないか。俺が20万ビリで買い取ってやら。それでお前さんの持ち金は30万ビリになる。あ、何言ってんだ。え、よし。20、20、5万でもいいぞ。で、30万。あ、
Dude, why is it in the barrel, dude? Talking shit about him not knowing the swords. Oh. Oh. あ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、ただ、
heard out loud that uh, that, that is Alveda, but I am 99% confident that is Alveda. They're on the hunt for Luffy as well. Zoro's restocked his uh, inventory. He's got all three swords now, all of the same caliber, at least similar class or tier along with his Waduichi Manji. One cursed, apparently not cursed enough for him. His luck balances that out or counterbalances it out completely. Now I swear that I've seen Toshigi's sword, the one she was carrying around, Shigure, I think is what she said, what she called it. I swear I've seen that somewhere. Uh, I know when I go to the cons and stuff, there's always just a bunch of like, you know, anime sword replicas all over the place. I'm sure it's probably somewhere in there and I just didn't know what it exactly it was from. I know I've seen that sword, especially since the last time I picked up two of these uh, from, I forget which vendor it was, but I needed a uh, a Kisuke Benihime and they had a prop one and a, and a actual metal one and I just ended up just getting both because I uh, wanted one at least that I would be able to carry around in a con with my Kisuke cosplay whenever I finally go about doing that. But I swear I've seen that sword on a wall somewhere. It looks so familiar. So I assumed she was going to give it to him after everything like that. But no, this shop owner just is like, hey, holy shit. After seeing what you just did, take it. Whatever you want. I'm going to just invest in you, pass on my dream, and just go get him, kid. <laughs> like that's pretty much his attitude after all of that. And even she was just like, her goal is going out and you know, he's still, again, it's just so odd that she's just so like Koina. But different name, again, could be, who knows? I don't know. There's a lot of ways you could finagle this with the weird intricacies of these worlds and whatnot. Could be memory loss, could be some form of cloning or reincarnation. I don't know. Or it could just be a cosmic ass coincidence. She isn't like striving to be the best swordsman. She loves the swords themselves and knows pretty much everything about all the legendary swords and like she said it was like I, my goal is to free them from criminals that such legendary blades are in the hands because of the strength and you know the stealing and all this kind of stuff that, that most of them have been swept up by either bounty hunters or pirates and she feels that that's kind of like taints the legacy of these blades or at least that they're unworthy of wielding them altogether. So it's interesting that she hasn't put two and two together. She's a little bit of a ditz. I'm just wondering where all that's gonna build up to. And if there is something kind of there, I mean, he sees it too. It's one thing if I was like, man, she just looks drawn a lot like Queena, but he straight up pointed that out multiple times, how striking the resemblance was, especially when seeing her in action. It just took him right back to those same motions and movements that Queena had in, in their childhood. So I don't know, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. But there was a lot of fun little gags in this episode. I really enjoyed the whole bit with him trying to make some cash and then completely bailing and then still getting it what he wanted in the end. It was just fun. And then everything with Luffy and his encounter with Smoker and him just sabotaging himself, not being able to get into the fight fully, knowing that Smoker also has a Devil Fruit power and just has not needed to use it yet. I'm very curious to see what it is. Maybe one day he went out into the Grand Line, but then I don't know how he became a Marine. I don't know. I don't know. I want to know more about the Smoker, dude. He seems pretty fucking cool. But guys, that's kind of all I got right now. I'm going to pass it off to you. What would you guys think of this episode? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We're carrying the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you're going to the channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Sherritt, Ryan Karen, York, Horse God, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey Hale, Jake and Trail, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, Justin Smith, and Brendan Boyd. Thank you guys so much for continuing support. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.